Good morning. So today I thought I would take you guys thrifting with me. I'm so excited though because this time I'm going to be taking you guys to the brand new Goodwill boutique in Manhattan that I was a part of. If you guys don't already know this, a few months back I went thrifting for them and I got a ton of clothing inspired by my style so that other people could shop it at their boutique. I'm just in awe with how everything turned out. I was there last night at their celebratory grand opening event and I got to meet a lot of people that worked on the project from the Goodwill as well as some of you guys. So it was a lot of fun just thrifting yesterday. So today I'm going to continue and I'm also going to be doing a haul just so you guys can get some inspiration for back to school since I know a lot of you guys are probably going to be going thrifting around now just for the semester. I actually did my hair and makeup and I can't decide on whether or not I should do something dressy like I was thinking of wearing these overall. They just... Yeah, let's just pretend that didn't happen. <laughs> but yes, I did my hair and makeup and I have to look for an outfit right now, so I'm gonna go. But I will see you guys in a little bit. <laughs> say thank you to everyone it's a, you know it takes a village and especially I want to say thank you to Lennox our leader here who really brought this all together to be able to transform this store into what you see now I gotta tell you it feels really 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 good I mean it just feels good and Diana thank you thank you thank you because the expression of what you did here the fact that we nothing here we we're just talking before that everything here is what's in between everything that we have mm -hmm. hidden back in my bedroom. I thought I would show you guys all the things that I got from the curated Goodwill Boutique. I'm so excited because I genuinely just enjoyed the entire experience and I'm not just saying this because I worked on the project but all of the stock there was amazing. A lot of vintage, a lot of good quality designer pieces. The prices have all stayed the same which is something that I found to be quite surprising because they do put a lot of love into every piece that they curate and put into the store. I did do some damage here. I have like two giant bags. Of stuff. I got some clothing, but I also got some stuff in my bedroom, which I'm so excited for because as you guys can tell, I've been decorating a lot in here, especially since the last time I vlogged for this event. So first off, I got these two bottles and I believe they actually came out to $2 each. I just wanted something that... Thanks, motorcycle. Sort of a Christmassy pattern to it, and then this one's just got something kind of going on at the top and the bottom, sort of like a ribbon. I don't really have a vase or anything, so I thought I would get these to possibly put in thinner flowers because obviously the little hole here at the top doesn't have enough space to put an entire bouquet. I just really like the way light hits the glass, so I have these right by my window, and I just thought they were a really pretty light an airy addition to the rest of my decor in my room. Next up, I have this very big but interesting vase. I just love the colors on it. I love the contrast with the yellows and the blues and the geometric patterns on it are very interesting. I've been trying to change things up a little bit into my new space just because I feel like it didn't have enough color before and it's even signed at the very bottom by the original artist. I even added a little faux monstera leaf that kind of just like hangs very long off this little hole right here. Definitely something that I usually wouldn't go for but I am just looking forward to finding more pieces like these at the thrift store. I realized I forgot to show you guys this cute pot that I got at the Goodwill, but I wanted to mention it just because it's one of my favorite little additions into my room. I added this pothos plant on it, and it's like king off of this really cute 
little wall tapestry and I believe this one came out to three dollars which is super cheap I love the little scallops finishing on it and the color is just gorgeous it adds a really nice pop to my room I think that's all the decor that I got for my bedroom so let's move on first little piece that I have here is a straw bag which is of no surprise to you guys I'm sure because I have a deep obsession with straw bags and I wear them all as frequently as I can because I just think they're so cute and the perfect addition to any warm weather outfit. This one's different though and that has more of a square structured shape to it and it has this beautiful straw embroidery of flowers on the sides and these cute little dainty handles at the very top. The only thing that kind of sucks about this bag though is that the zipper's broken but that wasn't enough for me to say no to it obviously. You guys, I'm so excited about this piece. This is probably one of my favorites to have found at the curated store but she's just this little lovely orange top that's very flowy, it's frilly. These ruffles go all the way down the center front and at the bottom of the sleeve. I don't know why but when I wear it I feel like a dancer for some reason and I just love the way this orange soft tone complements my skin tone. The silhouette is just something that I don't already have in my closet and I feel like for the warmer, humid days, this is definitely something that's super easy to wear because of how lightweight it is. I just really love it and I'm obsessed. I cannot wait to style this for you guys. And again, I do have another little top that I thrifted for the Goodwill Boutique. Very similar to the one before, except it's short sleeve, and it has more of a contrast with the darker flowers to it. I think this one is slightly more casual because the silhouette is very simple, but I love the little accent flowers, and the baby yellow is something that you guys know that I always gravitate toward anyway. Speaking of baby yellow, I have this little knit yellow tank top. Um, it's more of a boxy silhouette, which is something that I don't already have in my closet. I love the squared off neckline though, and I'm pretty sure that whole look is trending right now, which is good because it just flatters most people anyway. Okay, this is something that only gets me excited because I used to be a knitwear major back when I was in art and design school. But if you look at the side seam of your knit tops, you can kind of see whether or not they're cut and sewn. For most t-shirts, like the one I'm wearing right now, there's a little zigzag stitch. This one's actually full fashion because it's been knit together at the side seam. For things like these, I kind of like that they're full fashion because you can tell that there was a lot more work put into it. I could see myself layering this with a long sleeve underneath for the colder days, but for now that it's summertime, the loose silhouette is definitely perfect for me because it just I don't know, breathes a little bit better when I wear it. This top is so adorable. It's in this sweet baby pink color and it's made out of this ribbed soft knit fabric. So beautiful. It's originally from Banana Republic but it just gives me very like early 2000 vibes because halters were definitely very much in at the time but I just think it's so cute and it's definitely something that you can just tuck into anything really but as always I end up just wearing it with like a cute pair of mom jeans or even a mini skirt with this would be really cute. I don't know why I didn't hop onto this baby pink bandwagon sooner. A lot of the times when I end up trying the colors that I don't think look good on me they end up just working out anyway and I end up falling in love with pieces like these. I'm not realizing that most of the tops that I got are actually... oh Oops, little strap just came off. Uh, very unfortunate, but it's very easily fixable because I did use some like thread here and I have like a bunch of thread in my little sewing kit back in my boxes that I still have yet to unpack. There's definitely a lot of contrast with this ivory, pink, olive green, mustard, just a different medley of colors, but I just think it's lovely. And again, it's just something that you can easily just pair with basically anything at the bottom, maybe a pair of jeans or something a little bit more simple just because it does have a lot of colors going on, but I think it's really cute. So I got her too. I don't think that I have anything like this in my closet already. It is just this little lovely waffle knit top that's originally from Liz Claiborne. It's got this salmony color that I just think is super flattering on most skin tones. I just feel like I tend to wear things that are a little bit too much of a statement and pieces like these that have like a more bold color that has a statement in itself is kind of something that I feel like I need in my closet anyway. I came across this ivory sweater that has these gorgeous chunky floral embroidery all over it. It just reminds me of my childhood for some reason and I love the big bright pops of color. I sort of kind of shop off season sometimes especially if I see something that's very special and something that I won't find again if you will. Full fashioning on the inside which means 
that it's good quality. And I kind of like the fit that it gives if you just roll up the sleeves a little bit and have it a little bit more loose with some jeans or something, especially like in the colder weather, which we probably won't see for another two months or so. And now we're on to two dresses. I'm going to continue on with some of the fall items that I picked up, which were only two, I promise. Anyway, this one is in this corduroy star and moon print that is just so cute and dainty and I just thought it would be perfect to wear in the fall time. It's originally from this brand called Brooklyn Industries, which my mom bought me a parka from like a while ago and I actually really love the quality of their clothing. I'm not sure how much this dress would have originally cost, but I only got it for $15 and it has a really nice fit to it. Definitely something that I would wear on a day that I just like want to throw something on and feel a little bit more put together. And then at Polar Office, it's the last dress I showed you guys. I have this beautiful, long, flowy, floral dress that is originally from Free People, so I was pretty excited about this find. Pretty sure this dress could have easily gone for a good $128 to $168. I believe that's like their mark for dresses. And it has this lovely little shark hem that just finishes off the entire look. Immediately when I put this on, I just felt so feminine in it, and I think it's just really cute to wear on like a picnic day if you want to, or just like a little walk in the park, um, or to the supermarket if you're like me. But I just really like it, and I believe this one came out to. $17.99 aren't actually for me, they're for my mom, but I wanted to show it to you guys anyway because it's such a steal and they are originally from Burberry, only $14.99 which is just amazing. It has a soft baby pink corduroy color that I think is perfect for the summertime or even for the fall because it kind of throws off into like a warmer tone light pink color. And yeah, Burberry, how do you say no to that? I mean, it even has a little traditional Burberry piping on the inside like damn and now I have saved my absolute favorite piece for last because only the real ones can embrace these beauties right here they are just this magical pair of floral patchwork pants I am so obsessed with these jeans not only do they fit like mom jeans like they're high-waisted and they have like a slightly slightly more like not back of your fit like straight leg fit but, I mean, the patchwork on them is incredible. When I wear these, I just feel like I'm embracing my inner summer of love. I actually saw these on the mannequin just as I was stepping out of the store. And immediately, I just like knew I had to try them on. And I did, and somehow, miraculously, they fit me perfectly. So, these were meant to be, and I am not going to deny that. They were only $14.99. I originally thought these were DIY'd, which would make it even cooler, but they weren't. You can just tell because of the machine that they use. And because of that, I'm thinking of doing a little DIY for you guys. So if you want to see that, make sure to let me know down below just because I would love to make a pair of these. But I mean, I just, I couldn't say no to these because they're amazing. They just fit really well. And I think that they would look really cute with like a more simple top. Maybe even that pink little halter top that I showed you guys before would be perfect for these pants. I almost forgot this last top. So that last one wasn't actually my final piece, but this one is. This one is actually from Buffalo Exchange, but I quickly want to show it to you guys because it's from a secondhand shop too, so might as well just throw this one in. This little top right here is the ultimate summer top. I am obsessed with it. It has all this embroidery all over it. It's got a little lemon, watermelon, flowers, a banana, and it even has pockets. So not only is it perfect, but it's actually functional. So. That concludes everything that I got in this thrift haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I am actually quite impressed with everything that I got. Like this is actually quite massive and I am a little bit alarmed by that because I never find this many things in one sitting, but I, I'm impressed, I'm amazed, and I'm, I cannot wait to go back at a different season whenever I like need to get a little something, something different. <laughs> so I really hope you guys enjoyed this little thrift haul. As always, please let me know your favorite piece down below, and also let me know if you want to see that little flower power denim pant. A DIY video because I will definitely do one for you guys. I finally have a desk behind me which means that I will now get to put my sewing machine somewhere and actually sew a project for you guys. But anyway, I'm gonna head out now. I hope you guys have been having an amazing summer so far and yeah, I'll see you all in my next video. Love you. Bye! My heart.